What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So in the live stream today, I got some pretty decent uh, questions that came about. And usually they're always around the 1.2% burn or they're around, you know, um, the staking or they're around just something to benefit uh, Lunik in the end, right? It's insanely hot down here. I don't know why, but it's making me lose my, lose my train of thought. Um, but anyways, Terra Luna Classic, we're always getting questions on if we should see uh, the 1.2% burn or how big this will, will get to. And um, there are, they are great questions. They honestly are great questions, but I got one um, good one today. And it was one that created a large conversation, maybe for like 20 to 25 minutes, actually. My responses tend to go on pretty long anyways. Um, but it was about whales. And if whales will mess everything up, they're like, what if someone decides to buy up all of Terra Luna Classic? Or what if someone decides to sell, you know, their million dollars worth of Terra Luna Classic every time um, we see a run? They sell, they buy back when it falls back down, they sell or whatever, right? And I wanted to talk to you about bigger whales and smaller whales and what they are going to do and why, you know, they are actually beneficial to the overall project. Now, buying 100% of the supply or buying 100% of the position um, is not realistic. And I can explain why as well. That'll be the first thing that I talk about. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, at Perry AK, you can follow me there. Don't forget that I have a Patreon if you want to join me on Patreon and uh, you know join the team with some buy alerts, some sell alerts, some different information. I wanted to give out something today. Didn't have time to do that, but um, eventually I will have some time to uh, put out some of those buy alerts and sell alerts. I don't know why my nose itches right now, but it does. Um, anyways, Let's get into this. So Terra Luna Classic is currently up about one and a half percent. It's at 0 .0001321. You see the volume at 150 million um, or almost 151 million. And um, let's see, we have the market cap at about $868 million, almost close to that billion dollar mark. Um, also, if we look at the circulating supply and total supply, we have 6.9 trillion or 5. Point, uh, or sorry, 6.5 trillion for a circulating supply and a 6.9 billion or trillion for a total supply. I don't know numbers. Um, but anyways, um, if we talk about what, what we're here to talk about, which is if someone decides to buy all the supply, the whales in the markets, well, first of all, buying 100% of the supply will not work or buying a large portion of the supply will not work. Let's say someone wanted to buy up this entire position, spend $869 million to buy up this entire position as much as they possibly could, right? <clears throat> if they decided to do that, right, they would be putting themselves at risk because if they buy 100% of the supply or as much of the supply as they can, they're buying up everything there and increasing the price a hell of a lot. As soon as they make that buy, you're gonna see the price spike. And when you see that price spike, what's gonna happen? A lot of these smaller whales are going to sell. So bigger whales have to make their moves on down days. When, when markets are heavily red, they have to make their big moves on down days, which can essentially turn the market or turn the position for the day. Um, so if they were going to buy everything, they would have to do it on a day to where things are down by like 80%. Um, and if it's not down by 80%, they would end up pushing it back up a hell of a lot. And then people that invested at the bottom would also sell as it gets to the top. So they would be screwing themselves because not only would the price go up from where they bought it, right? Um, it would go back down very, very quickly. So it would be like the quickest buy and sell order that they would have to do with $869 million worth, which is impossible to get that through very, very quickly. You're gonna have to wait a long time to get that fully processed through. So it would be stupid for anybody to go in and buy a crazy amount of anything because you're, you're bringing the value up. It's just like this. If you would go to the store and you decide to buy up all of the all of the toilet paper or let's go with this because um we've seen this um just just happen so let's say you go to the store and you buy up all of the wings the next time they put out wings they're going to price it so that you don't buy out all of the wings so if you didn't know 
wings uh were previously i don't know what how many how much per pound but basically i spent like eight dollars for a pack of wings maybe it was like seven dollars i don't remember but the last time i went to the store they were 25 dollars for a pack of wings now that's expensive right insanely expensive but you notice that there was a full like full rack of of wings that were there so there were so many packs of wings because people didn't want to buy them out so then they start to um figure out what that price is they figure out what the price right price is so that people will buy the right amount at the right right pace um and that's what the that's the same thing that will happen here you will see that price spike because people are buying up all of the supply and there's nothing left right so that would put them at a disadvantage. Now, on to the smaller whales. Smaller whales are a vital part of positions. You're gonna see the smaller whales that come in and push the price up because you have uh, maybe a, a million dollars or $100,000 or $500,000 that people put into a position. Now, that's a big, a big jump. And once that big jump happens, it creates reactions. And when it creates that reaction, the next person comes in and FOMOs into it thinking that it's gonna skyrocket at that time. You need these whales to come in and do all of this stuff, not only for the sell, the buy orders, but also the sell orders, especially when you're looking at a 1.2% burn tax that's being put in place. If you see millions of dollars worth of volume that's going through, um, you're gonna see a lot of money that's burned off with the 1.2%. Let's say you see $100 million uh, worth of volume, that's $1.2 million that gets burned off. Um, and that's just in maybe that buy setting. Now it's also that sell setting and you're seeing another 1.2. Maybe they even made more. Let's say it's $2 million that they burn off there. So a total of $3.2 million that you can burn off. So especially for something like this, it's very vital um, that we see whales come in go because it keeps the price stable rather than just skyrocketing the price because you're seeing it increase the price rapidly but then decrease it rapidly as well people believe that the spike is too quick so then they get out of the position protect their gains at which you will see the burn tax um, go into full effect there so whales are are very important and you can say that whales will mess up the whole entire thing, but whales will not mess up the whole thing. They actually make it a lot better and make the burn happen a lot faster. So I'm not upset that anybody holds more than me. I hold a total of 44 million Lunit coins, Terra Luna Classic. There are people out there that hold 100 million. There are people out there that hold 200 million. Do I wanna buy 100 million? Do I wanna buy 200 million? Do I want to physically have those? Yes. Um, but am I willing to make that move right now? No, I'm not willing to make that move. I already profited out of Terra Luna Classic. Why am I putting more into it when I know I can still gain more profit with the position that I have left? That's just being overly greedy and investing at some of these high points when your cost basis is an insanely low point. So anyways, that's what I have for you guys today. Whales are important um, and any large whales that come through, don't think that anybody's just gonna buy 100% of the supply and um, you know they're just devaluing what they're holding. Uh, that's ridiculous. Anyways, hit the like button guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me there. If you have any questions or you have any type of rebuttal um, to all of this, feel free to put that down in the comment section and let me know. I read all the comments. I can't respond to all the comments. I try to respond to them, but the the scammer comment, the spam comment that comes up with the WhatsApp or whatever, um, you know, talks to me as well. So I don't want anybody to get confused and think that's him and that they're asking you for your seed phrase or whatever. I'm not asking you for anything. I will not uh, DM you first. You can DM me and um, then I will respond directly to you and make sure that it is me when you are DMing me on maybe Twitter or Instagram or whatever. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to follow me on Patreon, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, um, Instagram, TikTok, all of the different platforms that you see out there. I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.